Are you unsure what to think over the ball in order to hit your best shot? Hi, I'm Dr. Patrick Holm. In this episode, I'm going to talk about the options for what you can think or feel over the shot in order to hit your best shot. You're watching Sessions with Doc. Here's the question I received from Sam. Sam said, I'm unsure what to think over the ball to help me hit good shots. And how do I convince myself that I have the confidence to hit a good shot? And I want way less tension in my swing. How do I know what thoughts to have before I swing that will help me swing much more freely and confidently? Sam, great question. This is really about your pre-shot routine. And I could talk quite a bit about pre-shot routines. So let's start with the notion of confidence. Because confidence starts before the round. It starts way before the shot begins. It really starts in your practice and how you go about your preparation and practice. So you're not waiting until you get up over the ball to feel confident, in other words. However, a couple things that you can do to feel more confident is make sure you do your homework and you commit to a specific shot, have a specific plan of what you want to do with the ball, and then visualize that shot. Or if you can't visualize it, feel that shot. Either one will help you feel more confident. But make sure that you focus on your target and where you want the ball to go to instead of thinking about where not to hit the ball because that's not going to breed confidence at all. So number one, visualize. Number two, make sure you're going to focus on where you want the ball to go instead of the missed shot. Next, in terms of what to think over the ball, there's many, many options for what you can do over the ball. But loosely, what I talk about with my clients is target and tempo. Now, I use those loosely because target can mean many different things. Target, for example, is more of a visual cue, what we call a swing cue or a performance cue, where it could be just starting the ball over your intermediate target. It could be thinking about where your target is. It could be the shot tracer you see on TV, like the line or the path or the trajectory you want your ball to take. It could be drawing a line from your ball to the target. So there's many different visual cues, but you only need one to execute your shot. The other side, on the tempo side, some golfers are more what we call kinesthetic or more feel-oriented, and they prefer feeling images instead of visual images. Well, what do I mean by feel images? Could be tempo, could be balance, it could be swinging freely, swinging effortlessly. One feeling that you identify with that helps you hit good shots. And how do you know? You work on the range and you find out what that one swing cue is going to help you with. When you have that one swing cue, now you're simplifying because you don't want to take three or four or five different swing cues out there and try to think about those all at the same time. Take it back smooth. <laughs> Hit the ball on the inside, for example. Finish your swing. Be in balance. Like too many thoughts is going to breed inconsistency. So boil it down to one thought, and typically when golfers are playing their best, it's something around target or it's something around tempo. And that's why I use those loosely because it's specific to each individual. If you want more help with your pre-shot routine and your mental game for golf, uh, jump over to peaksports.com and check out our one-on-one -on -one mental game coaching programs. In addition, you can check out the golfer's mental edge 2.0, our revised and updated mental training program for golfers. All right, thanks for your question and good luck.